everyone welcome back to my channel my name's Kelly from Kelly Lee creates and I teach lettering and digital design so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take a digital file and place it onto this photo um, this Christmas photo with this mug so this is super useful if you are a small business owner wanting to sell something on a place like Etsy or Creative Market or any other digital marketplace. If you can display your file on something like a mug or any sort of product, your customers are going to be more willing to buy your product because when you display it on something like this, you are showing how you your customers can use your file in real life. So whether it's a file or whether you are selling like a digital PDF, maybe it's a ebook or a checklist or a spreadsheet or something like that, you are more likely to get a sale if you show how your product can be used. So this video is really geared towards um, the creators that make things like SVG files and sublimation files and stuff like that that you put on shirts or mugs or tote bags or you know sublimate onto ornaments or things like that. But you can also follow the same steps in this tutorial to create mock-ups of pretty much anything. So I am using the paid version of Canva. You can do this in the free version, uh, but the paid version makes it a little bit easier. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your file um, to the dimensions of wherever you are selling. So if you're selling on the digital marketplaces like Etsy, Creative Market, anything like that, each marketplace has their own uh, specifications for the dimensions that you need to make your file. So depending on what marketplace you um, are selling on, that will make a difference in um, how you set up your file. I am using Etsy, so this um, file right here, this document is set up for uh, the Etsy dimensions, but to set one up on your own, all you do is come into Canva, come up here, create a design, go down to custom size, and you can enter the width and the height right here, and you can do it in pixels, inches, centimeters, whatever you need. So once you have your dimensions set up the way you want them, the next step that you have to do is, I'm going to delete this right here, delete these. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is you have to find a photo that you would like to use. Um, if you have a photo that you already um, want to use, um, you can do that. Uh, but Canva also provides a lot of photos to use. And this is in the pro version that I'm using. I am not sure if you can do this in the free version or not. I'm going to show you how to do it in the pro version, and then I'll show you a workaround for the free version. So to find the mockups that Canva offers, you're going to come over here to the sidebar, it's called Elements, so click on that, and then up here, you're going to search, um, I'm going to search for Christmas mug mockups. I want to get as specific as I can be. You can also search for mug mockups if you're not doing a Christmas theme. So, but I'm just going to do Christmas mug mockups and hit Enter, and then if you scroll down, um, you can see a bunch of options. So we want the photos right here. So I'm going to click on see all. And then you can just scroll down and there are tons and tons of photos. And so the 
the crown down here in the right hand corner that is that means that these are only available um, with the pro version you can only use these if you have the pro version now for any um, photo that doesn't have a crown like this one of this computer that means that those photos are available to use in the free version but as I scroll I'm not seeing a whole lot of mug photos um, that are available for free um, so I will show you uh, the workaround to that in a minute so this is the mug photo that I'm gonna use so all I'm gonna do is click on it and then it comes over into the template that I set up here now you can see it's not filling up the whole screen so I'm just gonna click shift and hit and click and drag until it fills up everything I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see everything here so I'm just clicking and dragging so it fills up the screen and I want to kind of make the mug as big as possible but still get some of the you know still keep a lot of the Christmas themed items in the view so you can definitely tell that it is Christmas okay now once you have the photo the way you want it the next thing that you have to do is you have to um, place your digital file on top of the photo so in the pro version if you scroll here on the left hand side you have all these different um, options right here that you can pick from and these options right here correspond to folders that you have set up on your home page so if you go to your home page and go to your projects and folders all of these folders that you have set up are available right here on the left hand side and this is in the pro version so I set up a folder for my PNG files and I upload all my digital designs to this PNG file folder and so then I can just scroll through and pick whatever file that I want so I'm going to use this making spirits bright file and I will leave a link to that below but when I click on it you can see that it comes right into the photo so if you want to you know adjust this adjust it by clicking and dragging the corners right here to make it fit exactly the way you want it so that's pretty much it for how you were you would do this in the pro version and to download this file you just come up here to share download and then you can choose right here from the drop down whether you want a JPEG or a PNG and those would be the two that um, you know you would use if you were uploading this to a site like Etsy okay so now I'm going to show you how to do this using the free version so the free version obviously you don't have access to this mug photo and you don't have access to all your folders here on the side but there is a way to do this so I'm just gonna duplicate this page and delete all this so with the free version basically what you have to do is upload everything that you want to use into the uploads folder and that includes um, your uh, PNG file your digital file and your photo so I usually find a photo from a stock photo site or I take one of my own and then all you're gonna do is drag and drop your file 
into the uploads folder. And you can see it comes in right here. This is not a Christmas um, photo, obviously, but this is just a photo that I found off for free off of a stock photo site. Someplace like Unsplash has photos that you can use. Um, Pixabay has photos that you can use. So find whatever um, mock-up that you would like and download it to your computer and then upload it to Canva and it will come in in your uploads folder. And you have access to the uploads folder here on the left hand side. So then it's the same process. You just click and drag, drag it and size it to fit um, your template right here. And then you have to do the same thing with your PNG file or your digital file, whatever you're using. You have to um, upload that to, from your computer to Canva but you're not gonna have access to it here on the side. You're not gonna have access to these folders. So everything that you upload gets um, put into this uploads folder right here. So I'm just gonna drag my PNG file to the uploads folder. Just click on it and you can drag it into place and size it like I showed you before clicking and dragging these corners. So you download this just the same as you downloaded the other one. You come up here to share, download, and you can choose your option right here and then hit download. So that is how you make a mock-up of your digital products in Canva using both the pro version and the option to use the free version. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. If you want more tutorials like this, make sure to visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.